Hey guys, Max here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about data cleaning. So if you're new to Clay or you haven't used it yet, this is the perfect video for you because I'm going to show you here how essentially you can clean um, your like some examples of data cleaning that you can do with Clay with some of their um, enrichment tools that they have and also with uh, formulas that we're going to build with AI. So it's going to be a pretty interesting um, video here. Um, and so we're going to start with the one of the biggest mistake I see um, companies doing when they start uh, cold email and it's not normalizing the company name. So um, when it when it comes to cold email, it can be good to uh, like say the company name in an email to show like that we have that kind of data. Uh, I, I have to say sometimes it's a bit overused. So you don't want to be you want to be testing different things, but. Um, we've, we use it for some of our campaigns, like to add the company names in the, in the scripts. And so you want to do this, but you, sometimes when you scrape your data and you, you have your, your data here, um, sometimes you have like LLC or you have, maybe if you're scraping from, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, LinkedIn, sometimes companies have like emojis or they have like different things here. And so you don't want to, when you're writing your email, you don't want that in your email, right? It's just weird. It's just going to seem automated. And what we try to do here at automate is actually to personalize all emails at scale. So if they see that we said like, Hey, I saw like automate AI driven solutions on LinkedIn, they're going to know it's automated directly. Right. And so the thing that you can do in clay here is you add an enrichment. Let me just uh, move my head here and you can write normalize. And so you just click on normalize company name. All right. I'm having difficulties with my head apparently. All right. Let me just do this. And then you just add the company name and then you toggle this on and then you continue to add fields and then you just click on, you just want the name here and then you it's save and then you can run it. So obviously you can say like, Hey Max, you only have two companies. You can do it manually, but let me tell you, I want, I don't want to do it manually for like 10,000 companies if I have a list of 10,000. So that's why it's really useful. And so here, as you can see, their their tool here that they've built is really, really uh, accurate. Um, obviously, I would advise you to do some quality control all the time. It's always important when whenever you're doing clay tables. And so here, uh, the first example here, uh, it's it's right. And then Sigma LLC, we got Sigma as the name of the company. So that's the first example here. And the second one I want to show you guys, as I as I said, we always try to like personalize emails. And we try to find like creative ways to um, change the wording of uh, certain things to make the email seem more uh, a bit more familiar, like we've just written it, for example, and that we've we haven't used um, like custom fields because people know, like, and especially if you're reaching out to like B two B companies, they know that they know what cold email is, and they know that most of the sequences they get, the emails they get, are just automated, and we don't want. Uh, people to think about that when they see our emails. So an example here, let's say uh, we just, I'm just going to add a text because we'll, we'll need some input here. So let's say we have location here and this company is in the States and this company is in the UK. Okay. And so an example of something that we could do is um, add a formula here and say, if uh, if location is United States, write the US. And then we could do the same thing for the UK. And you can do it for like other locations as well. This is just an example. And then we generate formula, the, the formula here with AI and it's going to give something complicated here, but you don't need to write it like this. You just need to write it like this and then you get the output here and then it should be publishing here. Let me just refresh. All right. So we got it. So here an example would be, Hey, I saw that, uh, you guys, uh, like that automate targets B2B companies in the U S instead of saying like, Hey, I saw that automate AI driven solutions targets B2B companies in the United States. It feels like so much more automated. And so that's what I'm saying. And, and, and those are small details that will increase your results. Obviously this won't change your campaign. If you have a bad offer, 
a bad lead magnet, you have bad deliverability, you don't have case studies, it will not change your campaign, but it can definitely help you uh, get a bit more uh, results with your campaign. So another, another example here, since we're playing with uh, formulas, uh, let me just add uh, input here as well. So let's say you have, uh, sometimes you scrape data and you just get like stuff like, um, obviously this is not a word, but you just get, um, let's say a company name or other information that you have and it's all uppercase or in the opposite, it's all uh, lowercase. So obviously here it's easy to uh, do it manually, but if you have 10,000 companies, again, you don't want to be doing this manually. So what you do, you insert to the right and we're going to insert a formula and then we're going to do the same thing. Essentially, we're, we're going to create it, the, the formula with, with AI. So we're going to say, uh, if, uh, and then we want to use, yeah, that's the input we want. If a new column is, um, in uppercase write it in smaller case with the first letter being uppercase. We'll, we'll try this. <laughs> we'll see if it works. I think it's going to work. Um, oh yeah, you got it. So output is correct. Say formula. And then, and so this is pr probably one of the best features that clay has. Like you can build formulas through like AI that just writes them for, for you. So it's actually really good. So here you can see we have the right output. We wanted the, the, um, like the, the word to be normalized. Obviously this is not a word, but you, you get what I mean. So, um, yeah, this is, was, this was a really quick video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, data cleaning and what's possible with, uh, formulas and what you can do with clay. So I hope this was insightful and we'll see each other in the next video. Ciao.